What's up guys? This is the Rifeman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my, well the first episode of a brand new campaign of my uh, Empire Total War Let's Play as Spain. Spain was the winner of the last faction vote. So this will be true world domination. We start with nine, eight, nine um, regions. It's hard hard difficulty and if I, well, no it's gonna be true world domination and take, try and take over the world. So it might be surprising to know that in the 1257 hours I've played of Empire Total War, I do not have, um, I have never played as Spain, although I do know a bit about how the Spain campaign um, functions. So like Britain, we do have a protectorate in the New World, although I, I expect I will probably not be able to take them um, into my empire the same way. Hold on a minute, I should quickly turn my fan off. Um, I'm unlikely to be able to bring them into my empire for the same sort of shenanigans that uh, that Britain had. So if I take, uh, so let's take, first of all, so we do have some territories. You have St. Augustin, La Havana, and Santo Domingo. And um, we are at war with the Cherokee, so that's something to bear in mind. So let's take these ships over to Santiago de Cuba. And let's get this militia to occupy port -a -Pay to prevent the pirates from doing any immediate damage. But, so we are Spain. We are spread out of the continent, spread through the continent. So we have Madrid, Gibraltar, Cagliari, Naples, Milan, and Brussels. And I do not want Brussels because that's more trouble than it's worth. So France, I'm going to offer, not Naples, uh, Flanders for physiocracy. And I'm going to ask for 5,000. Excellent. Um, so we've got Lombardy. I don't want Lombardy either. But what I am going to do is I'm going to use it as a bargaining chip with the Cherokee. So it's not a super useful region for now. Later on it will. It is, it is, it is reasonably useful. But not at the moment. So what I'm going to want to do is go to the Cherokee. I'm going to offer Lombardy for, let's be a bit more bold because we're not involving technology and peace. Hurrah! So now they're indifferent. They don't mind us. So what we can do is take, well, first of all, you're going to want to split these ships up to occupy both these ports as well as sending a militia to this port, because Britain does love um, an immediate attack. They do love declaring war. So we have no way to get these armies back to the mainland, but we will. But we've, we've, we've boosted our treasury off the bat from 7,000 to 19,000, which has got to be a good thing. What I'm going to want to do is knock my tax levels right down to spur growth. So it is going <clears> to <throat> massively impact our treasury, but the growth of our regions will be very quick. And this is something, thanks to you guys, I've really came around to. Because look, Andorra. Three turns. That's pretty big. So naturally we're going to want to go after Portugal. Which is why war with Britain isn't so bad. Because Portugal is an ally. But the thing is, is we are the Spanish Empire at this point is meant to be uh, on the decline. It's meant to be um, like a big leaking ship that needs patching up that's the thing to bear in mind so let's go get this agent over to Portugal because I'm pretty sure yeah, they're all 100% Catholic so you're going to need to go over to Tangier because that will be a target um, but we need to hit our um, hit our economy hard and fast so I'm going to want to destroy this church school because we don't need it in Madrid we have university up here in Salamanca. So Salamanca will move towards Plug Bayonet. So as usual, I really like going down to this fiber rank tree. Um, I would like to build another university. Because we do have a happiness building to help offset that. But lots of our regions are quite prosperous off the bat. So let's do some economy upgrades. We can do a lot of upgrades. We're not going to upgrade the church, the coaching inn yet. We're going to build a oh, unit of variety right off the bat. Okay. 
Irish Regiment Light Infantry, Infantry de Marina Elite Infantry, Regimento de Sevilla, we can get two of those, Regimento de Soria, two of those, Mercenaries, Line, Line, Swiss Pikes, Tercio Pikemen, Irish Brigade, does he? Yeah, they, I was making sure I did read the Irish Regiment Light Infantry. Militia, Corso, Terrestre, Guerrilla, Bandoleros, <clears throat> Guerrilla Mercenaries, and Guerrillas. Um, get some Regimento de Sevilla. And probably two units of pikes. So two units of line infantry. Start to build up our force. So Francisco Castillo Fajardo, is his force will be swelled by some troops from from over here. Um, I am going to want to eventually attack. Well, I'm probably going to end up being drawn into war against the uh, Ottoman Empire. So let's hop over to the Americas because we have Florida. Gonna send our agent over the border to Savannah. Florida is fortified, so I might just chuck on. Ooh. Okay, get colonial militia and get some frontiersmen. But we do need to grow our the, the production from these plantations. So we've got meag yield, meag yield, high yield, abundant yield, abundant yield. So. Let's maximize our to, let's maximize our production in Cuba first. Pick up we're getting road upgrades, so you can get only get tobacco. You can get sugar or coffee, which gives us sugar or coffee. Sugar gives us more, so let's go for sugar. So we do have pirates to worry about, but we're ho I'm going to hope that someone else deals with them before us. Let's get a peasant farm built rather than this because we can't actually export stuff for now. Whereas upgrading, growing the towns would be much more useful. Tactical retreat. Yeah, that's our guys going back to Naples. Naples does not need a church school. And one thing we do know about Naples, Syracuse is growing in two turns, which is excellent. One thing we do know about Naples is it's a very wealthy region, so I think I might go for the governor's residence before the farmland because we, our first town is popping relatively quickly. But that's pretty cool. I'm just going for plug bayonets. We've got physiocracy, so we could upgrade. Um, well, you don't, we don't have any plantations to upgrade with it yet. Actually, no. No, we are. We are sorry. That's what our Cuban upgrades are. Um, but let's hit end turn. Britain's not gone for us, that's interesting. I'm more than happy for them to not go for us. You know, our province, on the other hand, isn't having any of it. Let's bring everyone into war. Bavaria did not join us. So now we have options against the United Provinces in the Americas. So Cuba is going to uh, need a force being raised. They demand Poland. No, I don't want an alliance with you, Poland. I'm staying out of the wars and I'm staying out of as much as possible in Eastern Europe. Not interested. Unless it's France. If France is involved, I want to stay best buddies with France. At least for as long as possible. At some point, they'll betray us or we'll betray them. Um, but we do need to hit Portugal. I'm not going to call in any um, allies for that battle. No, oh, I didn't do any um, trade shenanigans either. I'm such a dumb dumb. There go the pirate fleet. So diplomacy, trade, trade, trade. So we're good Catholic people. Don't want to trade with Morocco. Don't want to trade with Portugal. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to trade with Portugal. I'm going to trade with Morocco. You want 600 bucks? Fine. So we will get that back. Okay, we can't get the governor's barracks, but again, we're still focusing on economy upgrades because right now we have precious little money. So let's get you over the border, begin to convert their population. 
So I might go for this upgrade first, as long as we've got... Hmm. Average yield. Might upgrade the conservatorium to the opera house to get the increased happiness across the board. More re well, we get re more research points for technologies and we get more wealth growth. For a thousand, that's quite cheap. You're down to 1500, which means you can be upgraded to a school. These men can combine. I mean, we don't have. <clears throat> Next turn, I'll, I'll build a uh, build a ship to get to go collect those fellas. I think that's all we can realistically do. Let's hit end turn. It's interesting, really, that getting rid of Brussels still causes uh, the United Provinces to declare war on me rather than French, the French. They, obviously, they want physiocracy. I'm, uh, same, same to you, Russia. Not interested. No foreign wars for me. I would like New Spain to to grow and develop. And obviously, if they turn into, if they turn into Mexico, ooh, no. Why would I give you Cuba, which is very valuable and useful to me? And I'll take Kashmir, which is landlocked. Wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Not interested. Bad deal. Very bad deal. The Barbary States are getting picked apart by the by the French. Obviously, I need to keep my ports open. Alliance broken between the 13 colonies and... Wait, hold on. Aust okay, okay, right. Hold on. Hold on. So Britain, what happened to you in the 13 colonies? What happened to 13 colonies? I'm sure they broke it. Did they have a temporary alliance with France? They thought that's what I read. And Britain is now no longer, no longer allied with Austria. Following declaration of war against Prussia. Light galley. So you and your galleon will do fine. Another light galley. Combine the brigs. Yeah. So that's clearly a important thing to note. That we need ships to hold off the Barbary States, unless we can get peace, which I doubt we will, but there we are. No, I'm not going to give you Hispaniola for peace. Okay, I guess we just need to slowly, slowly, slowly grow our economy. That's part of the reason why I'm very keen to avoid as many wars as possible. You want an alliance? Yes, I'll do that, because you're allied with France. I'll stick with you. You're already at war with the Mughal Empire, so that doesn't matter. We own the Strait, so Morocco can't cross. Portugal needs squashing, probably quicker than I'm giving it. God damn, pirates. This is part of the reason why I want to expand my, uh, well, increase the rate at which towns grow, because Bilbao will be here, and that will give us another port to trade with. Let's get the sloop and the brig. Let's see if you can make it. Clear out. A galley. I might even keep them there so they can they can defend the port without having to transit through. But then that means you get down to Cadiz to make sure it doesn't get blocked. And that means we have 400, which 
means we can't build an Andorra, we can't upgrade Syracuse. We've got some good stuff done from an economy perspective, but it looks like some of our trade... Um, where is it? There it is. One of our ports is being blockaded by a galleon. <laughs> Race built galleon the cuckold. Fifth rate in a sloop. They? The French are moving in, which I'm fine with. Let them. They're very much the uh, senior partner in our enterprise for now. Good old New Spain, helping keep our our trade zones clear. So we can now go fetch those uh, troops from Cagliari and bring them west. Don't blockade my island pirates. Good. So you managed to it's like very much like a blockade. You've managed to sneak through a uh, a shipment of cash and goods. So you guys go over to here. We ex we can expect Rome to eventually declare war on us. But Naples is very much not a priority. So bring everyone, apart from the militia, over. You can recruit a sloop. Sandy Bay, you can probably get a galleon to help fight against the uh, Barbary States. And again, that means we can't do much. We can get a craft workshop, that's handy. But we need to march on Portugal and take Lisbon. Got another school. So you can tra track down some of these common land enclosures to increase pop growth, to increase town growth. Because right now we need towns. We don't have a lot of towns, so we don't need to worry about going down the physiocracy, the philosophical route to increase our financial gains. Because we don't have the we don't have the uh, the towns to begin with. I think that makes sense. Latin Spain, especially these days, is really is going to be suffering from a desert desertification. An interesting article about it in the Financial Times. <laughs> Alliance broken between the Mughals and Portugal. Excellent. Alliance broken between Great Britain and Portugal. Perfect. So we've got a sloop record, recruited, so now you can march north. Take like everyone except the other generals. Let's see, people don't have any, any agents. You can request potentially some militia. Get three Irish brigade. You can only recruit three of them, and you need three would be would do a great job, and then we can push and hit Portugal. Um, Spain is now growing. Let's hop over to the Americas. So Havana, let's get better roads. So you're still shrinking. You're still not... Your your tax, you aren't growing. Don't bother with carbines. Go for square formation. Good. Oh, I forgot. My minister's... So we are an absolute monarchy, and God II second hates everyone. Uh, bon vivant, plus one management, plus one happiness. Okay. Minus one management. Uh, okay, you're pretty rubbish. Industrial revolutionary, pious, morally impaired. So I'm pretty sure he's... The only good one he is is treasury, but then again, this guy's not... He's not bad at treasury, he's just, he, he just doesn't have as many negatives. To be honest, they're all generally not. Plus one management, plus one happiness middle classes, plus one treasury. No, I think the only thing I'm going to do is move this guy. Plus one management, plus one happiness middle classes as the head of my government. That's all I think I need to do. Bill Barrow's already cut down, oh no, it's down two turns. 
So you need common land enclosures to boost farm production. Let's hit and turn. Oh, I should move my spy. Well, well it's too late now. It, it would be it would have been handy to have that spy down in Portugal. But there we are. I forgot. <laughs> Yep, you send your ships away. Ah, the Barbary States and their blockades. The frustrating thing is because they're all just galleys, so it's not even as though... Yeah, light galley, light galley, light galley, light galley! Hmm, question is, will they attack? I know galleys are rubbish, but I am very bad. I mean, we'd probably be fine, but meh. Let's just do that and build up. Let's build build a sixth rate. It's a bit cheaper. Let's cross into Pedro the F Pedro the Second's lands. I didn't call any war, any any um, allies in. I will keep my generals close because they might provide some extra useful. Actually, I may as well just dump Henrique de Lyon into the army just to provide some extra cavalry. Okay, good. Port blockaded, port of pay. Ooh, we're actually shrinking. In which case, then. Well, actually, what I might do is take this recruitment, cancel it. We can last a turn. Next turn, we attack the city of Lisbon, which will give us more tax income as well as a port. It looks like the pre the Ottomans, have, not the Ottomans, the uh, United Provinces have attempted to kill my agent. Oh, good guy, Savoy. Morocco's declared on me. That's not cool. Let's not call any of my allies in. Again, they shouldn't be able to cross because we've got um, fleets in Cadiz which controls the strait, which means they can't push. But they will be an, uh, another target. Once we take Lisbon, we will then turn south towards Morocco. By that time, we'll have had a few more um, techs come through. Yeah, temporarily block blocked, but okay, well, commodities have got a, a trade being traded, but there's no point keeping this guy. I don't know where to keep it. Trade agreement cancelled with Morocco. That'll be why. So 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 so, you. You can repair your ship. We can upgrade. Mm. What roads? I might get the governor's residence and then the roads for Santo Domingo. We do need to start cracking down some of these physiocracy texts to try and get that gain in wealth because at least Spain's growing Spain's growing quite pretty well but you are going to march on to Lisbon so they are here in force to stop us but we will engage them so let us attack the city of Lisbon and then bring it into the fold as our first uh, territory in the new Spanish Empire. So by the time we attack the Moroccans and the Scott, I would have had I will have got square formation and probably maybe canister shot too. But then that's when we we will be building a church school in North Africa and then probably drive east across across North Africa to secure it for our troops. Or we'll secure the um, that patch of the Mediterranean for our ports. So 
So you men, you guys are going to be deployed here, lobbing shells at long range, I do admit. We've got our infantry centre, we're going to have our Irish brigade advancing up the hill with some cavalry support. We're going to have some militia supporting the push on the left with our other cavalry including our second general. Our main general is going to be in the centre. Pikes are going to advance up. Skirmish is on the left. It's then militia... Their militia's not great, but when you've got a really long line, it's not terrible. Skirmishers! So at least we've managed to attack off Axis from the enemy guns. In which case then we can avoid them and just focus on engaging... Let's get some provincial cav up. Well, get you. Yeah, you guys are attacking the demi cannons because we may as well. They are just going to be within range for our artillery to engage them. If they need us to, if we need to unlimber and advance them, then we will. I think we will, just to get, just to maintain some better firing arcs. We're well, not firing arcs, but to make sure we keep the bulk of their main line within range. Demi-cans aren't going to engage my provincial cav. It's in my line. Keep advancing very much to one side. To avoid the fire of the guns before we push in. Gunners push up. So then our militia is going to go. Our militia and our light infantry, really, going to go all the way out on the flank. So I want to maintain my artillery advantage because now we've managed to make it so that the enemy has none. Here might be the better place for you. I've thought of a better place for you. See, their guns are firing, so it doesn't make... Well, allegedly firing, and it makes me wonder if it means they're bugged, but... I don't want to take the chance, because we haven't got the money. Yeah, they are pushing up. So I want to advance to a position where I can start to uh, scour away their gun crews. But I need to push. So let's run into this position so the sentry units can begin to engage the demi cannons. My pikemen are going to run to the right hand side, left hand side sorry. Oh, you're not quite within range. There we go. Let's get a pikeman over here on the left.
we're now engaging. Unlimber my artillery. Run up my Irish Brigade. Cavalry rebalance over to the right flank. The Irish Brigade is not as good as the it's not as good as regular line. Get my artillery engaging. We're picking off their general, so as my light infantry gets into position, we can start to curl around the left flank. The, li the lines are me being met. So get our cavalry around somewhere a bit more dangerous. They might attempt to charge us, because they, they do have bayonets. They do have um, pikemen there. Hopefully we can... If they... Very well. These men attach your bayonets. Pikemen have broken. You men continue to charge. This flank pivot. These men all pivot. You men charge in. Lots of these guys are already routing, but let's charge my Spanish cavalry in to take them out. Their line infantry should be losing to my... to my infantry. Because we do have... we have bayonets, and they don't. God, they... they just fell apart. Get all my artillery to focus on their general's bodyguard to the rear. Shattered, shattered, demi cannons are firing. I mean, I'm gonna continue to charge because. A, they're not running through their cavalry defences, and B, this gives us an excellent opportunity to get some. Uh, get some chevrons on our cavalry. So let's send in the 5th Regiment to go dismantle the last gun team. You guys cease firing. Artillery. Cease firing. Let's get my generals in. as well speed up time because it's just that gun crew that's left damn right we're going to continue because this is just a fantastic fantastic result surprising result but there we are now well, most of them are going to escape Not that it matters that they've escaped, apart from... Um, the only way it matters is just from an experience standpoint for my troops. It would have been nice to have got some... a few more of those fellas. Because... well, my cavalry... some of my cavalry got some good experience. The generals... avoided it. There we go. You just go knock them out. Chump. Damn right, that was a decisive victory. So now on the Spanish Peninsula, we have three universities. I mean, they hate us, that's for sure. To the point where we might have to actually demolish this university. <laughs> um, I don't want to spend too long here um, fighting to keep hold of the town. So if we get rid of the university, it will nearly save us. You men can replenish whatever little replenishment you can. 
you march to the south to occupy Gibraltar. So they're going to be a bit unhappy. Oh, the war weariness is zero. They should start to get a good amount of religious unrest from my priest converting their people. Okay, let's hit end turn. The British are growing. They're building up in the Americas. So it's very good to hold on to the American colonies you have as Spain, but the key is very much securing the home territories first. Because right now we are uh, a bit vulnerable. We don't have any... We don't have any... Uh, our home territories aren't safe. We can be easily blockaded. Our navy is not strong enough. Square formation is reached. See, we're only going to be able to rebuild a handful of buildings a turn. And yeah, already we're down. So it's going to take quite a few turns to deal with the damage this, this will cause. Okay, you don't go for carbines. Go for ring bayonets. Sevilla, you want to go for common land enclosures, then start to chase down some of these... Um, it's philosophical tracks to try and offset the uh, the shrinking tax base that's actually happening around the world. Ultimately, we have precious little money to do anything else. I do not want to spend too long babysitting Lisbon, but I think that's it's, it's a bit inevitable. They demand trade. Okay, I'll do that. They are the underdogs. And I will. Ra I would like the trade. That's right, Savoy. Protect our harbour. Bless you, Savoy. Bless you. But yes, we have square formation. If I can get socket bayonets, then I'll be pretty, pretty happy. Canister shot would be useful, but I think socket bayonets are generally a bit more. Useful. Gives your troops a bit more melee combat capability without needing to pretty much turn them into a pike unit. Common land enclosures. Good stuff. You're not going to go on to that. You're going to do empiricism. Also help cut down research time. So we do want... We've got a high yield farm. Let's rebuild the barracks, rebuild the Admiralty, rebuild the cannon foundry. Let's do the last bit of replenishment that we need to do. And we have 300, 300 cash. So I would probably seek to upgrade this building to a happiness building, because then Faro and Laeria will grow in turn, in time, which we could then turn to a school maybe after they've settled down, because they still do have quite a significant resistance to foreign occupation. But can we... We can now tax them, which is something. Um, it's an Italian gentleman, so he's probably going to come down here and steal our tech. Let's hit and turn. Britain will eventually turn on us. But ideally I would like them to turn on us once we've achieved our aims. I think the United Provinces are dead. Um, because uh, Sri Lanka, or modern day Sri Lanka, is uh, now occupied by pirates. I don't like that. I don't mind if you're just going to go sail away like that. Yeah, that's fine. Conquer new land in the new worlds. We are good Catholic allies, are we not? I am completely ex I'm completely welcoming of your ability to do that. Three thousand eight hundred. That's a lot of cash. Okay, so I'm upgrade you to a happiness building. Coaching in just to try and reduce our dependency on my garrison to keep them happy. Let's do some basic farm upgrades. So you're a low yield, but you're high yield. 
Okay. Make sure you are replenished. That's good. But I'm tempted to make sure I'm still about a fifth rate. I do. Oh, cast like choir master. Plus one to prestige. Plus one happiness. Yeah, but he's still. He's minus two basic. <laughs> Raving and drooling. Freak of nature. Nice one. But I do need to build this port. Oh, let's give me. No, I don't want a church school there. Let's get a farm in. Peasant farm in Naples. Because Naples is still worth a lot. Spain, Portugal. Naples is still third highest in my empire. So that's something to bear in mind. Britain's come to collect an army to send it somewhere. Hopefully not against me. Well, it looks like they're going after Florida. If they do, there's not a lot I can do about it. I could slowly build up the garrison, but I can't let it upset my economic development. That's the main thing. The Mughals are being the Mughals in India. Italian states have sailed away. Ah, oh, yeah, they are. The Italian states are going to attempt to steal my technology. The swines. I would like to take out the Barbary states to become the try and become the dominant power in the eastern, the western Mediterranean. Um, okay. So the army, so the army can't leave. What if I leave the general there? Minus five becomes minus four. Okay, let's recruit some. Militia to act as garrison. Farmland in Naples is built as our tenanted farms, but we can build a port here and probably upgrade the peasant farms to tenanted farms. Or do I not do that? Because they are going to come after me. Oh my god, it's a lot of cavalry. So much cavalry, I might actually have a chance. I can't get any. It has to be militia, unless I abandon Syracuse is building for now. So 1800, so I could recruit two colonial line or a colonial line, a militia, and a frontiersman, which is although well, well, probably the best I can get in one turn. So that'll probably do. Okay. Hey, we have a new agent. Jose Chavez. Go to Sevilla. One more turn to get ring bayonets, which would be crazy handy to help defend a siege. Ooh, and we could also do with... Well, one of those militiamen are going to go and occupy Porto soon. Ah, nuts. Okay, everyone. Let's see if you all back me up. They have, and no one's joined Britain. So we are going to get those uh, troops recruited. And we have a pike, so if they capture a gatehouse, we can try and massacre their... Ooh. Yes, Ottomans, let's do that. Common land enclosures is okay. The Ottomans are up against it in many ways at the moment, so I don't have to worry about them becoming too strong. They might be upset when I take Morocco and eventually start pushing against the Barbary states. But hopefully by then, their trade will have made us wealthy. See, there's a lot of upgrades we could do across our empire, but we just really need to... To be honest, I should probably upgrade the ones... Oh, look at the Barbary State ships just getting chewed up. Another gentleman. That is delightful. 
So you go up to Sal Salamanca, research. Don't duel the fellow. So we have Ring Bayonet. It's gone straight back down to Carbines, which obviously I don't want. So advance up to... Ooh, canister Shot, maybe. Canister Shot is more useful in the short term. Obviously we do want Military Syllabus, Drill School, Fire by Rank. So if I take you all, except for a, an extra general, and move the militia in. Yes, there we go. So you men march down to Morocco. Camel gu gunners are a bit spooky. But that's why I'll, I'll probably get a unit of Tercio pikemen. I've got a lot of money. Okay, Syracuse, you can finally get your port. And Palermo can finally get a craft workshop. Porto, you can get a sloop to occupy yourself. Some vineyard upgrades. Okay, let's check roads. Let's get cobbled roads here. Good. So I'm going to assume I'm not going to get a chance to do any more recruiting here. Um, we have a chance because there it will be an it will be an assault of line infantry. Most of their stuff is cavalry. We got almost all infantry. Well, some good infantry at least with with bayonets attached. So we might stand a good chance here actually. Although I will recruit some native musketman auxiliary in the event that we don't hold on, or in the, in the event that we do hold on. You've got artillery. Well, the French have taken the tasty territory in South America, but I do want to take Morocco. That is my key focus. Okay, let's fight this defensive battle. It should be fairly quick. We've got some good garrison troops. Like I said, they've only got, they got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cavalry units. They've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten infantry units ish which is pro roughly about the same as what we've got so uh, I've got a feeling that their attack is going to be broken up and they might still be frustrating and run around with uh, cavalry but at least we still have the territory and we can slowly expand the force and then eventually push out to uh, secure the rest of the the state so I'm not going to want to send my cavalry out because right now their cavalry has no recourse. So machine line infantry up front. Let's have a look at my colonial infantry. They look fabulous, I think. Lovely. So then you guys go take up this section here. Militia can con control the next section. Frontiersmen. Stand up front. Pikemen and demi cannons, which shouldn't be useful unless we lose the gate. So let's do that. <laughs> you can't put them too close because I find sometimes if you put them too close, it doesn't. They don't work. You have to leave them some room to get out. Okay, there we go. So let's have a look at my frontiersmen as well, because I reckon they look great as well. Proper s skirmish types. But yes, the vast majority, well not the vast majority, a significant portion of their army is just cavalry. And cannot attack us. The buccaneers will break in fairly short order when they attack the colonial militia, because they have no bayonets. The line infantry is a concern, because British line infantry is just good. But our guys have bayonets. So the difference in colonial garrison colonial line, the true colonial line and colonial infantry are these guys charge a bit harder, but no, charge a bit less, 
only by one, but their defense is marginally higher. But they reload faster as well. They got loader. They got a um, uh, reloading skill twenty nine compared to twenty four. So they reload a bit faster, and it will have a lower chance of misfiring. Come on, frontiersmen! Present. should really be hitting those chaps, but alright. Because the, these guys have got them. As the British try and push around the flanks. Great hit with the artillery. Great hit with the guns there. Nope, they've had enough. See if my, my colonial militia can do to the tenth regiment. They're wavering, so a volley would be great about now. Good, they've been broken. They've been pushed back. They have managed to get a position here. Okay, they're up on the wall. Pikemen! So this infantry can attack the buccaneers. They're just broken. I want to try and get my pikes out the wall and scrum scrumming around here. So if I can get them fighting down here, these guys can run and take this position here. Okay, you guys run around here. Third Regiment is attempting to trade shots with us. Okay, you guys can now run around. I don't necessarily want my pike. Well, I don't really want my pikes to leave. Okay, you guys run back inside because they've already then not abandoned their position, but they've decided they want to try and run inside. Although it looks like so that might not necessarily work. Four fire into the eighth regiment. So my militia militia should have a good shell, good chance because they do have bayonets. It's not enough to completely offset the uh, offset the disparity, but it's enough to provide some good uh, leveling off of the disparity. I mean, I'm, I'm talking gibberish at the minute. But you guys know what I mean. Militia with bayonets versus line infantry without should be more equal than it would otherwise be. Get these frontiersmen over to the gate here. Put you there. Let's put this colonial line unit there. Frontiersmen can continue to sit here and they'll face off against the 11th. The militia have been broken. The 10th are coming back. I don't want to throw my, my pikemen into the battle because I don't want all their cavalry to suddenly start to sprint towards the the one opening. Right now, their cavalry is useless. 
As long as the doors are shut, they're useless. But because it can be a bit buggy as to when the gates shut and things like that, that's why I've got pikemen there. The fourth regiment is going to go down. You've not lost a man, so you have gained some experience. So you're trading with the third regiment. There we go, the fourth regiment has been routed. The door's been shut, so they are going to now decide to climb the walls and fight me. Which is their prerogative. The 10th Regiment are not taking this well. Although, you guys aren't. Turn fire it well off and on again. See, they shot one of your buddies. What have you got to say to that? <laughs> a lovely cannonball right into the middle of the mess. Go on, militia, kill the. Ooh! The man holding my colours has done well. Gotta remember that, the 4th Regiment is stuck down here. And here come the buccaneers! Like the joke, we see how much does a pirate pay for his corn? A buccaneer! Ah, ah, ah. Come on, you man. You could have done some real damage to those guys if you. Well, they did. Go on, volet, pour some musketry into them. See, they didn't even make it. The militia are doing pretty good. But yes. Once the 3rd Regiment beats... Once the, the 11th Regiment of Garrison Infantry beats the 3rd Regiment... That will be that. The Buccaneers are... Yeah, there they go. Kill the men on the walls. There should never have been a Pirates of the Caribbean fought. Even three is debatable. Get him. Um, so I guess I'm just going to speed up time. Because uh, there isn't really anything else going on except for this ex exchange, which is likely not going to last for too long. They're already down to wavering. There's only 57 of them left and there was 225. I'd be very upset if I was them. And as they slowly, as men are shot and they slowly creep towards the wall, they just get hit and collapse on the wall. There they go. So now the cavalry has no way in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the recording and bring you guys back when what are you up to you can't do stuff there's nothing for you to do see they're charging they get they keep flashing into charge mode but there's nothing for them to charge so what i'm going to do is i'm going to chop the recording and bring you guys back um either when we win or something interesting happens so see you in a second everyone mm. All it took was that first unit of line infantry, to, that unit of light cavalry to break, and then they realised they couldn't get in. Excellent. So now what this means is if they try and attack again, then they have got significantly fewer infantry to try and get in. Back you go. Hopefully they fight the... Uh... Ooh, France has declared war and survived. I mean, they got repulsed, so it's not really worked out for them. I do need to build a sloop in Syracuse as well, but I can't do that until the port's actually been completed. OK, 
Okay, I don't know why we... You must have cancelled trade with us at some point, but okay. I did wonder. Probably part of the reason why our income dropped so much. Italian states are going after uh, Georgia as well. That's pretty interesting. Don't punish me for them, Savoy. Keep your fleet next to my port. Every, I mean, again, all those Barbary ships just getting chewed up. Empiricism! Hurrah! Okay, so you men combine. You can carry on doing that kind of research. Um, hmm. Okay, what is it? Cause we, cause I think I'm pretty sure we're the ones who can push over the. Yeah, we can march over because we have we have command of the strait with our three ships. But the question is, do I focus on? Well, I think well, I think what I have to do is I have to upgrade one of my schools. I have to upgrade one of them. Um, to keep my momentum up. Actually, no, you guys don't don't upgrade that. You guys, this money goes over to Florida, where you guys can replenish, and you can probably no, you can't recruit anything, but you now have a unit of irregulars, which will at least be able to occupy the wall. Saxony destroyed. No, not Saxony. Oh no, wait, Saxony. Well, that's these guys. <gasps> Austria got them. Poland's got Poland has Bre had Breslau anyway, I think. Hmm. France has taken out you know, provinces, so strong France. That's good for us. Two more turns for caster shot. Um, but we're probably gonna be attacking a bit earlier than that. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this first episode. Sorry there wasn't as much uh, action as you would expect, but that's chiefly because we just don't have the money to do too much fighting. Uh, radio. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. See you in the next episode.